What's happening, YouTube? It's been a long time. Chasing Mr. Hamilton is the name, trucking is the game. But my wallet took that long to go, baby. You already know. You already know. Yeah, I know you miss me, bro. I know you all miss me. Let me flip it up on y'all. I know you all miss me. But uh, your boy out here, man. We out here. We out here. Look, I'm sorry, man. First of all, I know it's been a long time. I've been posted a video, but there's a reason, man. There's a reason why. All right, first of all, for you know, you know the normal voice. It just, you know, I, I think I'm coming down with a cold, but that ain't stopping your boy from getting this bread, getting this cheddar, when there's so much to be made out here, man. Look, I pretty much want to do this to change your life, man. I'm going to do a vac truck for dummies videos. It's going to probably be like a... Um, a, a four parts to it. See, right now your boy actually working right now. You know what I mean? I'm pulling. If, if, you, if you can tell right there, I'm pulling. All right. So this first video, man, I just want to apologize for the delay. You know what I mean? I just want to apologize for the delay of not making videos recently. Your boy too busy getting money. And not just that. Is uh, you know, I used to have the visor holder where I put my phone on the holder and put it on the marijuana drive, somebody jacked that, but it's okay, man, I ain't tripping. I can buy another if I really want to, but right now, I really don't care. Okay, let's get on to the first part of the videos for dummies. All right, look, I'm a, basically, right now, all I'm gonna do is teach you the parts back here, right here, because this is important. The first important part right here, the bleed valve. Yeah, it's dirty out here, man. I mean, that's what you do, oil field, man, black gold all over the place, it don't matter, man. This right here is the bleed valve. Y'all see this? This is the bleed valve. So this one, in my case, when you push up, it holds the pressure, you pull down, it releases the pressure. I usually don't release the pressure until after I'm already loaded, right? So, bleed valve is that one. It holds the pressure in the tank. It allows you to pump, to vacuum up whatever oil or water, and also, you close that to build positive pressure which allow you to blow pressure outside of the tank so there you go like today i'm gonna probably be doing both of them you know right now and that box i mean those yellow boxes usually don't matter what you call them i just call them boxes man because every every well in oil fields have one of those and the tanks are usually labeled you know oil water so right now i'm just pulling water and sometimes if you confuse some company we have that side right there labeled water or oil so right now this is water because i've been to this world many times all right so let's get to it let's get to it so i already told y'all this right here is the bleed valve pressure it, just call it bleed valve man a lot of people will name it different but this is the bleed valve oh pressure releases pressure so after you pump and you're driving you put my case i push this down and it releases the pressure because when you're driving the, the a tanker when you're driving the tank as you drive the surge back and forth will build pressure as you drive so you want that bleed valve open you know what i mean you want that open to release this pressure okay now this i just call these main valves these these are intake valves because both of them are on the bottom like some tankers will have one right there on top you know those would be like mm, the primary valves, which nobody ever really use them. Primary valves you usually put, that's where you will pump oil or water, and then this one is usually where it come out, but most people just use this, man. Out here, most, everybody just use this. Uh, so this is, all right, so this is primary valves, if you wanna call them, or just regular ass main valves. Just call them main valves, man, that's what this is. There's nothing special to these, these are the caps. Obviously to open this, you will open these guys right here, remove it. I ain't doing that right now because I'm pumping, you know, and all that. These are known as holes. No, I ain't talking about your thoughts in the neighborhood. These are actual holes right here, okay? This is what it's called, okay. And this right here, man, you already know what this is, man. You already know. You already know what this is, man. Just, just open the valves, close them, open valves, close them. And in this case, in my trailer, you push down. You push down to open, push up to close. So this is actually closed right now since it's flat, that's sideways. I mean, let's keep it basic, man. Ain't nothing like fancy about this. Okay, so now we go to the pressure valves. That's what I call them, pressure valves. You see these little lines right here? 
whenever you want to clean these main valves, like for example, if you're pumping, right, you're pumping water already, and then you close your main valves right here, you close them, so you stop taking in water or oil. So sometimes you will use these guys right here, every, every main valve got them. You'll use these pressure valves or pressure hose, will depend what you want to call them, because they do have holes on the side. Is you open this up and it will, it, will, it, will, it will put air pressure in there from here to here, from there to there. It's the same thing, and it will put pressure and push the water out. So sometimes I push the water back into the tank, and then you know, or, or I push them, I push the water into those buckets because I will close that valve right there. So that's what those these things does, man. I call them pressure valves. Or you can call them pressure holes, it really don't matter. But it cleans this out, that way there's nothing remaining once you close this cap. Once you remove this hose and close the cap, there's nothing remaining there, you know what I mean? Bro, that's it, man, this is the first part of the video. So this is pretty much it. Oh, that right there, the side glass. As you can see, I'm looking at the side glass right now. I'm, I'm taking, you know, as I'm pumping water. Side glass give you visual of how much you have in the tank. There's nothing fancy, nothing complicated, it's basic, simple side glass and some side glass right here you can clean out the side glass right here by pulling this up or down and it will sucks air in there because it's a vacuum right sucks air in there and then in case at night you don't know exactly where the where the load is you can pull that up and it will give you that load exactly because the water will go into the tank and you can see you know it's bouncing and whatnot all right man so this that's pretty much it man basic shit basic things man on the vacuum truck basic things bro right here main valves main valves i call this bleed valve or pressure valves whatever you want to call them but yeah just call them bleed valves right there and this right here a pressure hose or pressure valves allows you to clean this with water or oil after you know after the main valves are closed like that's literally it man that's literally it. bro by the time you finish this series you're gonna know how to use everything bro all right man I'm out, man. This Mr. Hamilton, you already know. I love the haters and I love the lovers, man.